Hi, it's Corrine for Cut at Home, and today I'm making a greeting card. I'm using some white cardstock and making it into a standard A2 size card. So I cut my cardstock to eight and a half by five and a half. I'm scoring it in half at four and a quarter, and that'll leave me with a four and a quarter by five and a half card. I'm showing you some of the products that I'll be using. I'm using some digital papers from Knitwit Collections, some Angel Craft tape. I'll be using some Ranger watercolor paper, some Tim Holtz Distress Inks, and a mini ink blending tool. I'm using this beautiful Spellbinders die. This is called Floral Berry Accents. I'll link all the products used at Cut at Home's blog, so check the description box for that. So I've added my tape, and now I'm just laying down my layers. That top layer there, that's an Allie Edwards stamp that says Heart You. And now I'm just kind of laying out my dies to see how much of the watercolor paper I need to ink up. I'm using a nonstick mat below, and I'm grabbing the bundled sage and peeled paint inks, and I'm just inking those up, starting off of my mat and going in circular motions on my watercolor paper. I'm not going to worry about the blending so much. As a matter of fact, I'm using the more textured side of the watercolor paper because I want it to look very textured and I'm very happy with the results in the end. So again, using the peel paint, paint which is a little bit darker, it's going to give me a variation in color. And I love those foam applicator tips that you can just change them out. I store them under my distress inks. So I pulled out some sponge sugar and worn lipstick. I started with the sponge sugar, but I was afraid it was going to be a little too light for what I wanted. Therefore, I pulled out the worn lipstick and I was really happy with the color that it gave me. And now to give it a little bit more variation in color, I pulled out some water. You can use a large bottle or a small bottle. It's going to depend on what size water spots you get. And the Distress Ink is reactive with water, so I'm picking that up with a paper towel and you can see just how textured that is. I'm going to dry that with my heat gun. And now I'm going to use a Sizzix Precision base plate. This is great if you're using intricate dyes. And being that I'm using an intricate dye along with the watercolor paper, which is a little bit thicker, I decided to use the base plate. This is going to give me a beautiful cut. So I'm going to run that a couple times through my Sizzix Big Shot. I'll set that aside and run through the flower portion a couple of times. And I just kind of poke those out with my piercing tool. And now I'm simply going to add them to my card. I love the look of these. You can, you can make it into more of a wreath if you wanted to, but I wanted to use both in the left hand corner and the right bottom corner. So I'm just going to use some Scotch Quick Dry, adhere those down, and I will be adding a few pearls. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Thanks so much for watching and check out Cut at Home's blog for more information. Thank you.